Here's the 2017-18 winter outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This was issued on October 19th, 2017. The NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is forecasting for this upcoming winter, which extends from December through February, equal chances of warmer than normal, near normal, and colder than normal temperatures in Northeast Iowa, Southeast Minnesota, and Western Wisconsin. This forecast is based upon a developing weak La Nina in the Central and Equatorial Pacific. Quick look at the 21 La Nina events that have occurred since 1950. Sorry about the smallness of this maps, but it shows primarily that temperatures were colder than normal across the northern and western parts of the United States and warmer than normal across the southeast United States. However, if we look at the La Nina events that occurred since 1985 and then compare them to the La Nina events that occurred after 1985, we see that the coldness signal that was pretty predominant across the northern and western parts of the United States has diminished some. We still see a trend for colder than normal temperatures from northwest Minnesota westward back to the Pacific Northwest. And predominance also a warming the normal signal across New England. Quick look at the winter temperature trends since for the past 15 years, 2002 through 2016, we see that there is no temperature trends, either warming or cooling, are taking place during the winter months across much of the United States, with the exception of the western United States and southern United States, and also New England. So here's the forecast for the 2017-18 winter outlook. It calls for enhanced chances for cold from the Pacific Northwest east into the northwest Minnesota. Meanwhile, there are enhanced chances for warmer than normal temperatures across the southern and eastern portions of the United States. Again, for our area, we're looking at equal chances. As far as the precipitation forecast, we're looking at wetter than normal is slightly favored in northeast Iowa, southeast Minnesota, and western Wisconsin. This does not imply that this winter will be snowier than normal. If you look back at the seasonal snowfalls during La Nina's, 12 of the 21 La Nina winters in La Crosse were snowier than normal. These winters average 44.1 inches of snow, which is just 8 tenths of an inch snowier than the 1981 to 2010 normal of 43.6 inches. Snow totals range from 19.4 inches back in 1975-1976 to 73.2 inches from 1974 into 1975. In Rochester, Minnesota, 10 of the 21 La Nina winters were snowier than normal. These winters averaged 51.2 inches of snow, which is just 7 tenths of an inch less than the 1981 to 2010 normal 51.9 inches. The snow totals range from 28.4 inches back in the 1975-76 La Nina to 70.5 inches back in the 2011-12 La Nina. Quick look at the La Nina winter precipitation. You can see that, again, sorry for the small maps here, it shows a pretty much signal that it's wetter than normal, it tends to be from the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys, northward up into the Great Lakes, and then extending up into New England. Also, there's a wetter than normal signal during these 21 La Ninas across the Pacific Northwest. Meanwhile, there's a drier than normal signal that occurs from across the southern U.S. However, like we did with the temperatures, if you look at the La Ninas prior to 1985 and then look at the La Nina events after 1985, we see that the southeast United States has actually become drier than normal. Meanwhile, we continue to see the above normal precipitation signal from the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys up into the Great Lakes and also in the Pacific Northwest. Taking a look at the winter precipitation trends over the last 10 years, we see a wetter than normal signal that occurs across the northern U.S. 
as a result taking the La Nina and also the precipitation trends. The Climate Prediction Center is forecasting enhanced chances for wet across the northern U.S., which includes southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, and western Wisconsin. Meanwhile, there's enhanced chances for drier than normal conditions across the southern U.S. Again, here's the bottom line for the local area. As far as temperatures, we're looking at equal chances of warmer than normal, near normal, and colder than normal. And as far as precipitation, looking at weather than normal is slightly favored. Again, this does not imply that the winter will be snowier than normal.